Welcome to another class in Visual Basic Programming. So the program we are going to see today is a part A program. So this is a program we are going to design a VB application which has MDI and child form. So MDI stands for Multiple Document Interface. So we are going to have a window which is going to hold all the child window, child form windows inside it. So MDI is a container which holds all the forms. The other than that, other than MDI, all the other forms are called as the child forms. Let us see a program. This program is going to have, first of all, we are going to create menus. Right? It is going to have menus, file, new, open. Okay, here which means file is the main menu. The sub menus are going to be new and open. Similarly, format is the main menu. You have sub menus which has font and color. Right? Color again is going to have foreground and background color. Okay, this is what we are going to do in this particular program. First of all, we will create an MDI form, also create a child form, and then create menus. So, with this format, and then the last menu will be exit. So, which is used to exit the MDI form. Also, create a text box. Right, it says the program says create a text box. So we'll be creating this text box in one of the child forms. You're going to create only one child form. In that, we are going to create a text box. Right, so in this text box, we will change, try to change the font. We'll try and change the background color and the foreground color. This is the operations we are going to do. In order to do those operations, changing the font and changing the color operations, we need a common dialog box. Right, so what is this common dialog box? It is an ActiveX control. So it is going to display the all the common dialogues such as open dialogue, save dialogue, color dialogue. Okay, we are going to study that in detail in theory also. The common dialogue box is an ActiveX control which is going to open all these common dialogue boxes. So we have to create this common dialogue box. Right. So only after creating this common dialogue box, you will be able to change the font, font and the colors. Right, so you want to get an open dialogue, we wanted to get a new dialogue, everything has to a save dialogue, I mean, everything has to come from the common dialogue box. Right, so let me first uh, explain the design of it. We will take a new VB project. So I'm going to take a new VB project and we are going to do the design. Okay. Before going into the design part, I would like to show you what is that we are going to design. So you will be very curious after reading the question on what is that we are going to create. So our design should have all these things. First and foremost thing, you have to create an MDI form. So that will be the first step. You have to create an MDI form and then there is the actual form that will be your child form. That will be made as your child form. How, is, how are we going to do it? We are going to see. Okay, so in this particular design, we have done created an MDI form and then there is also a child form inside the MDI form. Apart from that, we have we have to create or drag the common dialog control. You can see this to common dialog here, common dialog control. I told you it is an ActiveX control. So you should be knowing that all the ActiveX control has to be imported. Right? So how do we import? We have to import it from components. So I'm going to click project components. And then you can see the Microsoft Common Dialog Control 6.0, right? Microsoft directly says Microsoft Common Dialog Control 6.0, right? So we have to say apply and click on OK. So we are going to do that anyways in the blank form, right? So this is one thing which we have, second thing which we have to create. First is the MDI form, second is the Common Dialog. Once you're done with the Common Dialog, then we are going to create menus like this. So we are going to see how to create menus. How can menus ha can have how can menus have shortcuts like this? Okay, and how we are also going to see sub menus creating sub menus. So very very easy, very simple thing is to create this menu in VB. So all these things once it is done, then we will go to the program part of it. Okay, so this is going to be the design. Right, once you finish the design, we'll come back here for the program explanation part. So let us go and create the design for it. So hope you will all remember the steps I told you. First step, we are going to create an MDI form. How do we create an MDI form? You can say add, right, MDI form. 
this is the first step add MDI form so I'm going to take an MDI form yes created I will keep my form this big right as soon as you have created the MDI form you have to go to the normal form this is the normal form which we used to have in the project when you start a new project you will have a form this form has to be a child form you have to make it a child form because MDI is a multiple document interface which means you can have many forms inside this particular container so this is going to be an application right which means it has it will have many windows many forms will be there to navigate from one form to the other so but there should be a container which will hold all the form together so that is nothing but your MDI form that will act as a container right so we are going to go to the MDI property right MDI child is false I want it to be true because it is an child form okay as soon as I said true you won't be able to see the form it is a it become a child form now right so this is a child form see the logo here if you know I don't know whether you are able to see it it is it may be very small looking at from your mobile but you can see a big menu a big window a form and a small uh, form right so that is nothing but your MDI you have a big form which is very very you know uh, light in color it is in like uh, not enabled kind of and there is a small that is going to be a child form there's a small form there this is the logo itself differentiates this so we are done with the first step that is creating an MDI form we have created an MDI form successfully right next I told you we have to add the common dialog box so I'll go to projects I have to go to components and I have to import Microsoft common dialog control 6.0 right I have to say apply once I apply you can see it it comes here in the toolbar it's here right common dialog I have to just take one drag one and put it it's again an invisible ActiveX control so when you are an executing it will not be visible but you will be using it in the uh, coding it is only used in the coding the name of the dialog box is common dialog one right so two steps are over first step is we created an MDI form which is multiple document interface it acts as like a parent window and you can create any number of child forms inside the parent form so we saw how do we do that next step was to create a common dialog we have done that also the third very step in this particular program is creating the menu right so here you also will in this program you will also learn how to create menus so let me go in detail about it you have to go to ads in I'm sorry tools menu editor you have to click on tools and click on menu editor okay this is the area here I'm going to create the files so let us say the menu actually said you have a menu first menu call file in, in, menu, in menu file you're going to have open and new there is going to be next one call format so we will try creating menus and sub menus you will learn something here so file is the main menu I wanted to create and here all the menus should have a name because we are going to actually write the coding for that particular name okay here name is nothing but for example command one underscore click is where you will write the program when you have a button and you have to click the button and write the procedure for it in the click event then you will write the coding in command one underscore click similarly you have to have some name right inside which you will write the code for that particular menu so that is nothing but all the menus we are going to use m and u right again we will we are going to see this in theory what are the naming conventions so for menu you have to start it with m and u okay it is optional again it is up to you and i am going to have file menu file okay so yes done I've created the first menu I want to say okay let us come out and see how that looks so this is the menu is clickable you will go into menu file underscore click so you can write the if I click file what should happen so that coding will come inside this particular part this is a menu this is how you create a menu let us see how we are creating the other uh, menus yeah I have, should be in the design part actually for the menu to be visible right yes so next so after file what am I going to have I'm going to have have this open right open but I want it in the next level so I'm going to click on this arrow which is going to take me to the next level okay so this is how you 
create sub menus so file is a main menu and you are going to create sub menus that is one thing you have to, first thing you have to remember creating sub menus i will click this particular arrow we get three dots here means you are going to the first level of the sub menu you want to create go to the next level then keep clicking this arrow and that is the first thing about uh, menus second thing is whenever i give the caption i can use an ambersand symbol okay just to say that so i can click uh, the when i cl say ambersand then there will be a uh, line which will be under open right under o especially so that you can use shortcuts to create it again menu name is m n u o p e n is the menu name if i want shortcuts i will say open yes so control o is open okay i also want a menu called new so i'm going to create a menu called new so let me say i'm going to insert a menu called new so it's going to be again ambersand n e w again in order to use a shortcut we are going to do that here the name is going to be m n u new right again the shortcut i'm going to give here is control n let me use control n as a shortcut so you can give any shortcuts just to you know demo the use of shortcuts here okay so you have created a menu under the menu file you have a menus new and open so this is what you have created so far you have open and so what is the most important thing you should note down here is that you have to give a name if at all you are skipping the name you will get an error when you actually try to come out of this if you click okay after creating all the menus whenever you don't give a name you will get an error so be careful right now next again next i don't want to create a sub menu for file instead i wanted another main menu that's going to be format going to be format is the menu the name let me say is menu format right what are the formats i'm going to have next i'm going to have formats such as the color and font so let me say ambersand font and it is in the it's a sub menu of format name is menu font font right so it's going to do all the bold italic regular say change of size all thing all the things are going to happen with this menu font right the next i'm going to go to creating a color menu so name i'm going to give it as menu c o l o r so format is over inside format we had font inside color again we are going to have two colors so it is a sub menu color is a sub menu already a sub menu to the sub menu we are creating so i'm going one level down and i'm going to create foreground color and background color okay so it's going to be so let's say foreground color and the next one is going to be background color it's going to be a background color again m n u p a c k back color back color and four color is what we have created okay so again i repeat you have to create, click on tools menu editor you come to the screen then you will create the first menu you have to give a name don't forget to give names so here also we have created here we have used two new things one is using the ambersand symbol if you want shortcuts and if you want to specify the shortcuts there you can again use these characters so whenever you have an ambersand symbol which means that that particular character will be underlined so f has to be underlined and here c has to be underlined n and u new for n and o for open has to be underlined so we have to create a last one if you remember exit menu it's going to be not a sub it is not a sub menu it is a main menu so i'm going to go back and create exit okay sorry right exit i was in some wrong place right m n u e x i t so we'll be writing the code in this particular place okay so so far we have created the all the required menus we have created so it's going to be like this file open format and exit okay 
So exit, I think uh, it is disabled. Let me check whether exit was disabled. Yeah, it has to be enabled. Accidentally, maybe I would have clicked it. Right, guys. So this is what we have done. The design is ready. Okay, hope these steps are clear for you. So what did we see? We have seen how do you create an MDI form? How do you make the normal form a child form? Then how do you import a common dialog box? And how do you create menus? Right, once it is done, we'll go back to our program. This is the program. Right, we're going to the coding part. First coding, let me go to the easy coding part. Exit is the first coding where it, you have only end. So how does it work? You go click on this exit it will take you back yes next coding we will see what that what is that we are going to learn is file new so i'm going to click on file and i'm going to click on new i'm going to have a new the child form has to be displayed child form is nothing but form one just see here mdi form is there there is something called as form one that is nothing but your mdi child form right so we want that form to be displayed so what is the code for that let us see it's easy again so we wanted to see the code for file new right this here you come here this is the code for file new that is nothing but form one dot show so very simple we had form one we want to show that particular form so we are saying or make it visible so how are we doing it we are just saying form one dot show that's how you show that particular menu new right so we have seen two things already one is exit end is the coding one is new for new form one dot show is the coding so what is form one see this is going to be your mdi forms design similarly this is going to be your form one's design right form one's design is very simple it only has a text box one text one is the text box name name of the form is form one so only these two things are there so we are, we are not writing any coding here we are only writing going to write the code all the code in the MDI form itself it's up to you it's up to the programmer you can choose to write the coding wherever you want right so I'm going to write it here yes so file new is done we are going to file open right so what do you mean by file open let us see this is going to be the coding part okay listen carefully we are going to use the common dialog one dot show open first step is common dialog one dot show open we, we will be discussing all these things in theory also common dialog will have these uh, properties show open okay, show font show color all these things we are going to use all those things now so when i say show open it will open the open dialog box so what does that mean how do you say it is an open dialog box yes, i'm going to say file new yes i'm going to click on file open so you're getting a box now this box is called as this is one of the common dialog boxes this is open dialog you have open dialog you have save dialog you have save as dialog Right, all looks very similar to this open dialog. So I'm just trying to. This is used for opening a file. Now what I want to do, I wanted the open dialog, but I don't. I'm not opening the file. I am trying to get the file name. I'm going to store the file name in that particular text box. So I'm clicking on a file. That file name is coming in this particular text box. That's all is the coding we have done here to make it keep it simple. Right, to keep it simple, this all is the coding which I have done here. So what happens? Common dialog one dot show open will show that uh, box open dialog box simple common dialog one dot show open will show the open dialog box next line we are going to say what is that we are going to do we want that common dialogs file name whichever file name i have chosen there in the open dialog box that becomes the common dialog one dot file name so that i want to show in store it in a text box which text box text one where is the text one it is in form one so form one dot text one dot text is equal to this is how you can handle different forms so form is a module right so from one module if you wanted to access the access a different module this is how you do it so from i am in mdi form but i am accessing form one how am i doing it i am doing it using this command wherein you say form one dot text one dot text okay this text one dot text is where is in form one so you are saying form one text one dot text is equal to common dialog dot file name just two lines of coding one is to open the open dialog box a second one is to get the extract the file name and put it in store it in this particular text box so simple what is that we have seen we have seen new it just says form one dot show we have seen open this is the open menu coding right Apart from that, what is that coding? What, what other coding we have? We have a coding for changing the format. 
of the font and we also have background and foreground color changes yes okay. let's see that So what is that we have? We have completed with new. News coding was just form one dot show. So why should we stay in form one dot show for new? Until then we have hidden the form one. When the actually MDI form loads, we are hiding form one. See, when the MDI form loads, what are we doing? We are hiding form one. Form one dot hide. We wanted the form one to be visible only when I click on new file new. Okay, so when I click file new, I wanted the form to be visible. So how do I do it? Form one dot show. So you have hidden it and hidden it when there is mdi form load happens so when the mdi form is loading whenever you start your execution itself the form one will be hidden so how are you showing it when i click on new you wanted it to be shown yes so we are done with file new we are done with file open right so these two things we discussed already we have discussed right so the file name has come here we are only asking for the file name we are not opening the file here right next so if I want to open the file, coding will be bigger because you have to filter only you have to, you, know, you should be able to only see the txt files and then you have to load the file. So we are not going to take so much of pain, we we'll wanted to keep the code simple, yet you should understand the concept. Right, so next comes formatting, format font is the first one I want you to see, here you can see all the fonts available, let us say impact, so it will really create an impact, we will be able to see the difference here. So you can change everything regular bold italic right the font size the name of the font everything can be changed using this format font right so what did we do now format font change the format so what is the coding for format form font let's see what is the coding let us see here so format font i'm going to see the coding for this this is the coding what it should do first common dialog one dot show font which means it has to show the so whenever i say font it has to show this dialog box this is called as font dialog right it has to show font show font will show the font dialog box that is the first thing show font second thing is form one like we did previously form one dot text one dot font is equal to common dialog one dot font name okay font size is equal to common dialog one dot whichever size you are choosing that size so you are making everything in one go okay in just a click of a button as soon as the show font has come you are trying and changing it if you you see you have to give all this for you to change it to italic change it to bold you have to change the font size and also say change the font name all those changes has to also reflect in your text box so if you want all those things to reflect then all this coding has to be written the coding is going to be form one dot text one dot font font size font bold font italic right so this is saying this is the coding for showing the font and changing the font whatever font is there in text one so text one is in form one so it is going to be form one dot text one dot font and font size and so many things right so if you still want to reduce the code you can only say font and font size enough it's just a demo for show font okay you don't want the bold italic to work you can leave this code as well right no problem okay so what is left out only color is left out so color let me again show you the coding for color there are two codings one is going to be the background color same way there is also foreground color okay here you have the four color or the foreground color the coding is very similar so only thing is here you're going to say background color for back color and for foreground you are going to say dot foreground color see you can see that here okay. here you are going to say four color there you said back color that's all is the difference very simple code as soon as i click on background color it will show me the color dialog okay whichever color i click that color is going to be sold as a back color same thing happens here also in foreground color what does that happens it will show the dialog box of show color whichever color i click and pick it that have will become my foreground color so that color whatever color i'm going to choose that is nothing but common dialog one dot color so that color is going to be stored in my four color of that particular text box foreground color of that particular text box so let us see again so i wanted to start with file new so i have a new file open now i'm going to open it and i'm going to display the 
file name which I have chosen so it is yeah taking the file name and it is displaying here that's all I want to do next I'm doing format font what are the things I wanted to do I wanted to take a choose a font I wanted to ch change the size and the color I've done it now I want to change the color first I will change the background color anything is fine any order is fine I'm changing the background first and then I want to go and change the foreground color so when I click on foreground or background this particular dialog box which opens with all the colors is called as color dialog okay it's show color will show this particular color dialog box so let me say it was black in color now I want it to have white so that there will be some difference yes so we have changed the background color and the foreground color of the text box okay so last is nothing but exit yes it has a lot of new components and lot of steps to be learned but one thing I can tell you if you know this program you can write about what you mean by a common dialog box what is font show color show font so what is show open all these things you have examples you can use all these examples and write common dialogue in detail okay so that is one thing you will learn when you learn this program also you will learn about MDI forms how do you create it what are the steps in creating MDI forms and how do you make a form a child form of that particular MDI form again the theory part is also covered here you can see the example and understand the concept of MDI forms Thirdly, most importantly, you have menus and you can also write steps in creating menus. Again, that is an important question. So, how do I, what are the steps in creating menus? I'll go to tools, I'll click on menu editor. Okay, so that will be enabled only when you are in design view. Again, I told you, this is how you create menus. So, those steps, whatever we saw, you can write. So, three theory questions are covered and one part A program is also covered in this particular video okay hope you understood whatever we have discussed now thank you